Alright, what is up everybody? Uh, this is just a little bonus video for you guys today. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Alright, what is up everybody? My name is Kurt and welcome back to another video. So this one is going to be explaining how to make a private server for World of Warcraft. Um, if any of you have been watching me for a while, you may or may not have known that I've made one of these before, but I don't think it was that good, so I'm remaking it, if you understand what I mean. Um, so, yeah, this time I'm using the AC Web Ultimate Repack for World of Warcraft Wrath of Lich King 3.3.5. Um, some, some people were confused that the repack that I showed last time uh, could be used for any version, but no, it could only be used for the Burning Crusade, so... Yeah, um, let's get right into this. So, first you would extract this into a folder of your choosing, doesn't really matter. Then you'd get this, uh, AC Web Repack, blah blah blah. If you open it, there will be three folders and a control panel. Let us open up that control panel. Right now it doesn't really matter for me at least, because I'm actually just manually going in to get them. Oops, they all launched. I didn't want him to launch. Okay, so, yeah. You'll be greeted by a screen that looks like this, except all these, like, flag things will look like that. Uh, in order to choose that or fix that, you'll need to click it, and then you'll need to set the path. So if you click this folder button here, uh, this is the world, so you'll go into the repack, then the core folder, and then worldserver.exe, then open. Um, for the logon, you'll do the auth server, then MySQL, you'll go into server, then MySQL.bat. So that's for that. Um, I manually did it because... Oops. I opened them in the wrong order. You always... Alright, what's going on now? Oh. Alright, okay. I'm sorry, I'm having a tough time here. Okay, core... So it always needs to be MySQL, auth server, world server. That's the only way you can open it. If you don't do that, it'll, it won't work. Alright, next thing I'll show when the server actually loads up is how to make the account. And how to set the GM level to, like, whatever. To, like, maximum. So you can actually be a GM. Okay. So you want to type... Here, let's go in full screen here. Oh my god, my voice. Hello? Alright, you want to type account create account space create space the name of the account, so I'll do skumarg and then the space then the password, I'll just do password then press enter, and that says account created then you want to do account set account space set space gm level one word skumarg, or the name of your account three negative one. And then I change the security level of the account to three, which is a GM or an admin. And that's how you make your accounts. There is a way to um, set up like a browser account page, but I'm not entirely sure how to do that like whatsoever. So yeah. All right, next is to change um, the realm list. If you want to open your server up to public or LAN or something. So you want to get a database editor like HeidiSQL or NaviCat or something. Um, I have a bunch of sessions here, but they don't really matter. Okay. Um, so then, usually the repack page tells you the database information. Uh, for mine specifically, at least for this one specifically, is the username, or the host name is 127.0.0.1. Then the user is a root, then the password is a sent. A S C E N T. The port is 3306. And when you press open, it'll pop up. <laughs> You'll be greeted by a ton of databases here, and then within those, a lot of databases. You want to go into the auth and then realm list. Here you can find address and then the number. So that's the IP address of the server. Um, so if you just want to play by yourself, you can just leave it as it is, you don't need to even need to do this part. Um, if you have port forwarded, make sure to put the port forwarded IP address here. And then, 
if you're just running it off your computer, yeah, you want to do this. And then if you're just doing LAN, put the LAN thing there. It, yeah, just put the LAN IP there, and then you should be all set. That that would be the IP address. And that's basically all. All right, I forgot about this. Um, you will want to download the DBC maps, M maps, and V maps. Uh, it, the links will be in the description to the repack, by the way. Yeah, so you want to download all those. Go into the folder, go into core, and then data. You want to extract all those into here. I totally forgot about that, my bad. Should have mentioned it earlier. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, once you do that, your server, then you can run the server up and it should be working. Sorry about that. So now we can, uh, go on the server and see how it is. I'm gonna launch while it's probably gonna open up on my other monitor. Yeah, it did. So let me drag it over as it loads. Okay. Alright, then I can type in skumarg, then password yep there we go there's your private server right I forgot about this um <laughs> my 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 client has a patch to make the models like warlords of Draenor models but it kind of screwed up it screwed it up somehow so now they're just cubes but that shouldn't happen that's strictly client side test 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 okay See, then you can log in, make a character, do whatever. And yeah, this is this is basically how you make a uh, server. I can show you a little bit of commands and stuff if you want. I'll do that. Skip that. All right, close. Really, really. Thank you. So if you type dot or period help. I misspelled it. Help. You will see all of the GM commands you can do. In order to like to fly, you can do dot GM fly on. Bam. Then you can type dot mod speed. Like I'm pretty sure it's one to fifty, so I'll just do fifty. And then you can just fly around. Actually, before I want to say something. I'm sure most of you guys know Mr. Game Master Reviews. He's a, also another YouTuber who, co who covers private servers. Uh, today, he actually followed me on Twitter and subscribed to me, and I thought that was really, really cool. I actually got like so hyped when it happened. Um, yeah. So if you're watching this, man, thank you so much. All right, that's the end of this. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Yeah.